Well, hello everyone and welcome to Blogging Theology on live stream. Uh, my name is Paul Williams and I have a special guest with me uh, this afternoon or this evening, Khalil. Uh, good evening, no, good afternoon uh, to you in New York, sir. Good afternoon to you and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much for having me, Paul. Great. And your um can you just explain about your name, sorry, a second, because you got Khalil and then we've got special guest Anselm Tormida. Who was he? Okay, so oh man, I didn't think you were gonna... <laughs> You thought I was gonna talk about blogging theology. Oh no, I'm here to interview yeah, you. Yeah, I really thought so. Okay. Uh, just, just briefly, who is this dude you're named after? So basically Anselm Tormida is a, a a Spanish uh Franciscan monk who lived in um Spain, Mallorca, Spain, right? Uh, very high level uh, priest that was involved in the Catholic Church there and uh, found out about the Paraclete, which we talk about in the book of John. And then uh, didn't make sense to him that it would be the Holy Spirit. And then did some research and some of his upper, I guess, um, uh, level priests told him, well, this is actually the prophet of Islam. But uh, he's like, what? How come you guys didn't convert? He's like, well, if I convert right now, I'll lose everything. They'll take my family, they'll take uh, all my stuff, and they'll be out. Uh, I got nowhere to go, and I'm an old man. But I definitely recommend that you should go and look him up and go to the Muslim world. So he went to Tunisia and ah. find out more about the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad Anyway, st long story short, um, he wrote a book about it, which I had read, and I was fasc fascinated by his story. And uh, yeah, his name became, he changed his name to Abdullah Turjaman. Uh, lived in Tunisia and died there. His grave is still there. Um, wow. But yeah, that's his story. It was uh, a great Franciscan monk who converted to Islam. Yeah, I, folks should look up this guy's name, uh, Anselm K. Uh, Termida. Very interesting history. No K. The K is my K. It's, it's Khalil. Oh, you, oh, it's okay. oh, I see. I didn't know you. Had, okay, it's your K. Uh, yeah. Anyway, back to my your name book. Is too. Indeed. And uh, you live, you're not Spanish. You're an American living in the Eastern Seaboard, uh, etc. So, um, well, yes, so welcome uh, to you again. And uh, this special occasion um, when we've just reached 100,000 subscribers. Um, so as an amazing thing. Um, so you could ask me a question about that, weren't you? I think. Yeah, I'm actually very pleased and, uh, you know, privileged to be part of this celebration. This is wonderful, Paul. 100,000 subscribers in such a short period of time. You know, I would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you more strength and, uh, you know, dedication to produce more material that is beneficial definitely for the ummah and for all uh, kind of people out there who are uh, seeking the truth and enthusiast or I should say comparative religion enthusiast yeah. and uh yeah 100,000 subscribers this is quite impressive Paul honestly great job I remember when I stumbled on your channel less a little over a year ago or so and I remember we had like 100 views I think yeah. it was like 80 subscribers or something like that right yeah. and then suddenly it just took off and I guess first thing I want to ask you, how did the, even the name come into existence? I'm sure you have a lot of subscribers and followers that like wondering oh, yeah. what the name is all about. Yeah, no, I had a very humble, I still have a humble website, bloggingtheology.com, which I've been uh, laboring at for years and, um, you know, has, has a handful of uh, followers. And I mean, literally just a few hundred. And um, so I post articles and stuff on there. And I've done that for a long, long time. Um, and then last November, um, I uh, my MacBook Pro that I had was was just knackered. I mean, it was like big, chunky, slow. Uh, it still functioned. And uh, so I decided to buy a brand new one, which I'm using now, um, which is much better, the latest one. Um, and it was way above my I didn't need all the I don't know, all, all the, the power that it, it has and all the, uh, you know, the, the memory and all the fancy stuff you can do with it. But I bought it anyway because um, I just really wanted a nice one. Um, and I thought, well, why don't I make some videos? So I did uh, just on my own because I just wanted to do it, really, um, with no plans for anything grand at all. Um, so because I just wanted to communicate um, some of the, the stuff I've been, you know, reading about. And um, it picked up one or two subscribers. And I think that was in December uh, or maybe late November. Um, and then... At the end of December, beginning of January, it suddenly took off. Um, and I was getting a, a, a couple of thousand subscribers every 48 hours um, for several months. And um, and that was a bit surprising, to put it mildly. But there was never any plan. There's never any um, 
uh, ambition to uh, have blogging theology on YouTube. That was just a, a little bit of a pastime, a hobby, really. Um, but it has taken off. And I remember um, I, I, my, I wanted to have a guest on. I wanted to have an actual scholar on. And, uh, of course, I wasn't known. So who was it? who would come on my channel, you know, so I took a great gamble and I invited Sir Anthony Buzzard. What a wonderful name. <laughs> this is English uh, gentleman living in Georgia in the USA. Um, he's a Unitarian Christian. He is actually a scholar and um, Unitarian Christian. And uh, I obviously heard of him and liked him. And um, so I actually invited him and he actually said yes, which was an amazing. He said yes. Um, and uh, we had a great time. I really enjoyed talking to him. He's a great character, actually. Um, very knowledgeable, very kind man. So that was kind of, wow. So uh, then I thought, well, I'll try someone else. So I tried Professor Dominic Crossan, um, who is a real world-class biblical scholar, uh, professor, um, in his 80s, amazingly. He's very agile. Um, and that, that was a big break breakthrough academically, I think, on the at a high level. Um and then after that, it was relatively, you know, but once I got some form, a track record, then I could approach other people, which I did. Uh, various people like Professor Dale Martin at Yale or Keith Ward at Oxford and other people from Cambridge and and so on and so on. Um, um, another guy from Princeton um, Seminary, um, whose name I forget, come to me in a minute. Anthony, Anthony um, anyway, I've got to remember his name. Um, but so since then, I, I've, um, I've been very fortunate and... Um, uh, been able to have some amazing scholars on, and some of them have kept on coming back, like Professor Dale Martin from Yale, and uh, Professor Ali Atai from Zaytuna uh, Institute, and Professor Ali uh, Abdullah Ali, uh, his colleague at the Zaytuna. He's uh, coming back uh, in a few weeks as well. Um, so it's just it's just amazing. So um, it's grown and grown and grown, and then uh, I've I've had to cope with. You know, just managing it because I've had no experience of this before. You know, uh, how do I deal with the technology? Uh, how do I edit videos, which I did badly? And then someone contacted me, who is who is a guy who helps me now, an editor from who lives in India, a young guy who does a marvelous job producing the videos, much better quality, producing thumbnails, which I was crap at doing. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> um, so, you know, it's just been a, a learning curve every time, every time, learning uh, new things of doing uh, and making mistakes and so on. Um, but what the, the core, the core if there's a mission statement for what I'm doing, it is to, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's to raise the bar. So but I, I want to encourage people myself to, to learn more from actual real scholars um, who know what they're talking about, actual experts, um, by reading their stuff, by um, listening to them talk, um, not to follow them slavishly, but just to learn new things. So um, I've had some amazing um, scholars on. For example, um, John Barton, who's a professor at Oxford, uh, one of those leading Bible scholars. Um, and this is one of the books I want to give away, by the way. Lots got a pile of books here to give away. Yeah. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute. So this is one of the books. Um, a History of the Bible, the book, and it's faced by Professor John Barton. And this is one of the, um, this is great scholarship. It's for the general reader. Uh, he's a world-class expert. He's been on blogging theology. He says some amazing things, which I'm still trying to get my head around. Um, I've got lots of other books uh, I want to give away. So, for example, this book uh, by Stephen Mike. is hot off the press, Return of the God Hypothesis. Three scientific discoveries that reveal the mind behind the universe, and it's uh, endorsed by some pretty stunning top scientists. Um, basically, saying the universe is not the product of random chance, or, or it, it's, it has purpose and meaning and design to it. Um, I've got a book by this guy, uh, the Dutch politician uh, jo uh, Joran van Cleveren, uh, an amazingly courageous man who left the far-right anti-Muslim party and became a Muslim himself. Um, one of the books I want to give away, which I've not, unfortunately, I've not been able to um, successfully invite Jonathan A.C. Brown, a professor, but this second edition of his book on Hadith, Muhammad's legacy um, in the medieval modern world, is the best book on the market, I think. It's, it's endorsed by Professor Oxford, an expert, also by Hamza Youssef, at Zaytuna, the best thing in the English language. If you want a good readable introduction to 
Hadith by an expert. His PhD is in Hadith, of course. One of the books I want to give away as well is this book. Now, I'm a complete oh. idiot. So this book is great for me. The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Talmud by Rabbi Aaron Parry, an American rabbi. And uh, if you want to know what the Talmud is, and this is the focus for Jewish faith now, not the Old Testament, as Christians call it. This is a really readable, good book, actually. And if you're a Muslim and you read these, you think, wow, so much of this is familiar from Islam. This is very, very similar to Islam in, in my view. And I've got more and more and more books here. So um, what we'll do is um, in a moment, we'll um, perhaps, um, well, what, how do you suggest we do this, Khalil? What's your suggestion? Oh, so what I was thinking is that um, in a little bit, we can have people call, right? We can, I can send the link, the StreamYard link, and then people can come up, right? And uh, I guess introduce themselves to know that they're real and they're not a robot, right? And then I guess you can ask them a question. Don't you be asking a question? Maybe perhaps like, uh, you know, the last few scholars you had, what was the most prominent thing they learned from, I don't know, Adi Atai's latest video, right? Or maybe you can give them like a quiz, ask yeah. them what was the thing that happened during with Anthony Buzzard, right? What we would talk about, summarize quickly. Something like that. What do you think? Well, I think, I think it's a great idea. I'm just looking up my um, channel to remind me what I've been doing. On the <laughs> By the way, do you have any uh, do you have any uh, mods for the chat or no? No, because if I'm the, I'm, I'm the only mods, it'd be difficult to sometimes. That's true. Uh, no, very talk to you and then you. deal with yes, it's trolling. Yeah, it's just you and me, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping for more, but I wasn't able to. No problem. Okay. Um, unless someone here is um, can volunteer to be one, if we know someone. Um, yeah, I'm looking to see any familiar. Yeah, people here. Sorry. But uh, yeah, when do you suggest we should start bringing people um, up on stage? Yeah, um, well, we can. Um, yeah, we can. Uh, we can do it now, I guess. Um, just to get okay. the because this is mainly. Uh, I'm quite keen to get rid of these books. <laughs> now, I'm not going to be um, putting these in wrapping paper and posting them myself. I'm going to. We're going to collect your um, a name and an address, a terrestrial address, a physical address, an actual house or letterbox um to send it to and amazon I'll, I'll get amazon to send it straight to you directly and your email address as well just in case there's some problem we need to contact you for um so we'll have you up here and um well, well a few questions and then um you know so i've got about a dozen books or so um, okay wanna get all right so bef before we um we go there paul do you want to give us like a rundown a little bit what happened this last year what are some of the most prominent figures that you've invited? And how did that affect your view from... Because I, obviously, I, I used to watch your debates in Speaker's Corner, right, before. This is how I knew you when I saw your first video with your 80 views and 50 subscribers. I recognized you right away, right, when you just started the channel. That right. notorious, so, notorious, that is notorious in Speaker's Corner. This is true. Right. Like, uh, how did this... How did Black and Delhi change your view on Islam, Christianity... Judaism, and what have you learned in the past year from dealing with all these top-level scholars? If you could give us a rundown on that, and then we move on to bring in. What do you think, Paul? Is that okay? No, uh, that's a very good question. I mean, Speaker's Corner. I mean, it is a part. It is in a place called Hyde Park in here in central London, where I'm now. It's literally about twenty minutes down the road from where I'm sitting now. So it's a local park. You know, it's not like I have to make a special trip really and <laughs> just walk down the road. Um, but it's one of the it's one of the worst places on earth to have a decent conversation. It's um, you know, it's toxic. It's a bear pit. Uh, it brings out the worst in people. People behave badly. Uh, <laughs> um, but you can have some really great conversations as well if you if you're lucky. You can find people. I, I met some guys there, some Christians with PhDs or doing PhDs. They were really nice guys, like uh, Richard, for example, who was actually a, a guest in the early months. Richard Zetter, he, he was um, doing postgraduate studies at Oxford in uh, the Quran, I think. Oh, and, and in Christianity and the Quran. And uh, he's a very gentle guy, intelligent and nice. He's one of the exceptions. So you meet some nice guys, pe people. So he came on. Um, so if you want to see the worst in human nature, yeah, <laughs> you can go to Speaker's Corner. I recommend it for that. Um, I went there because it's 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 addictive for me. A lot of people find it addictive. 
you know, it's like a bad drug. You know, I, I, I'm not taking cocaine myself, but I imagine <laughs> it's a bit like cocaine. It's addictive. It destroys you. It's bad, but you've got to have some more, and you've got to have more to keep up the high, you know? And you can get this, this adrenaline rush. Um, so I went there uh, trying to find people to talk to, but also it was just a laugh and just bad entertainment. And it didn't cost any money, although it might have cost my soul at one point. I don't know. Um, so blogging theology was, uh, once it kind of got going, was uh, a way for me to explore a different side <laughs> um, of, of life. And that is serious uh, scholarly stuff. Because I've been reading these, these books, these kinds of books, for many years um it's been a private passion of mine um so it was a great privilege to meet many of these authors and talk to them and ask them questions i've always wanted to ask them um like professor keith ward at oxford i've read a lot of his books to actually talk to the guy it was a huge privilege and then to uh, dale martin from yale you know a world-class new testament scholar an expert on the bible to talk to him and ask him these questions a fantastic opportunity and i really wanted to share that with everyone else as many people who'd be interested so um speaker's corner is a circus says nobody yeah absolutely it's a circus uh, sorry paul i'm sorry i'm very sorry to interrupt you do you mind i can't do it from my side because it has to come from you do you mind yeah. making um uh, ak moderator please we, we're gonna need a mod here this is so many trolls. AK moderator and then also saeed is oh, also sorry. these guys are regulars you, and no, good. if you guys could help us just clean up the mess there's so many trolling and i don't understand why we're having such a relaxed, nice conversation, and people are bringing stuff that are necessary. This shows the, the level and the caliber. Um, it says three little dots. Put user in time at block user. Hmm. There's an option to make a moderator. Yeah, but it's not next to his name. So... Are you doing it through uh, StreamYard or through YouTube? StreamYard. No, do it through YouTube. Ah, okay. Well, um, I'm not in. I'm in StreamYard, of course. So if oh, I go, okay. to, I have to go into YouTube, do I? Yeah, if you just pop it. And then That's so we can happens. so we can get this out of the way uh, because yeah, yeah. it's quite stressful you. to be able, you know, to, to kind of talk to you in the meantime. Of also, course. if you want, can Hackton, either Said can Hackton. It's quite stressful to be able, okay to talk to you in the meantime. Of also, course. if you want, can Hackton, either Said can Hackton. It's quite stressful to be. Able, Hang on, I'm, I'm going okay. to need um, to. In the meantime, I've got two. Also, if you want, can Hackton. Hang on, but AK, is it AK? I need to make a, okay. Hang on, Saeed, Khan, um, Hakton. Is it AK, yeah? Yes, there's, there's also Saeed. Uh, Saeed, okay, one moment. Oh, Saeed. Yes, got, got Saeed. Yeah. Ken Hakton. Okay, yeah? Yes, there's, there's also Saeed. Is it AK? Yeah? Yes, there's also Saeed. Okay, yeah? Ken Hakton. Okay, yeah? Yes, you can mute YouTube, by the way. Kind of weird to hear myself speak to myself. Yes, got Saeed. Ken Hakton. Sorry, I, I, apologies, I've just muted it. No, no, it's okay. Um, I that much. So I've, I've got those two. Who was the third one that I need to? That's it. Okay, okay. Can, can Hackton and Said. This is this three. They're good brothers. That's a sufficient child. Like, they should be able to take care of all. Okay, them. Said. Sorry, who was the third one? K A N Hackton. Can Hackton. Sorry, C A N Hackton. Oh, C A N. Okay, let me look up for C A N. Where is C A N gone? Is it C A N? Hold on, I'm confusing things here. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, it is C A N. Can Hackton. He said can he can watch. He's got a picture of a gentleman with glasses and a drone, like a pencil. I can't see. Any, uh... Can Hackton type something so we can... Um... Yeah, make it easy for me. Make it easy for me. Please type something in that. Got the Orthodox Albanian? No. Empress Afia Morgoth? No. Hassan? No. Um... If you got two for an hour, it's really sufficient until... No, I want to... Sorry, who was the third? Can the third one just... Uh, you just said oh, I'm that, here. You just there said I'm he here. Is. I can see him now. I wasn't looking at... Uh, hang on. God, this is moving so quickly. Uh, That's it. Done. Uh, at the moderator. Now yes. we can focus on back to the conversation. Jazakum Allah Khair. Thank you guys for uh, uh, volunteering and helping out with this. Thank you for that. Sorry about that, folks. It's like I, I didn't have any... I only had one moderator, really. And now we've got three. That's fantastic. Yeah. So carry on, Paul. Go ahead. Um, so yes, what was it? What were we talking about? <laughs> you were talking about basically summarizing what happened in the last uh, year and all the yeah. people you interviewed and things that you, how do you change you basically? How do, your views from when you started? Yeah, uh, until now. Uh, yeah um, and also it, it's been healthy for me personally to be in contact with a much broader range of Muslims rather than the more narrow um, focus I had at Speaker's Corner, which wasn't always uh, a very healthy place to meet. Uh, 
Muslims. I'm not going to go into that, but there were one or two issues. But um, so, so to to to, to uh, have a much wider a group of Muslims, I was in regular contact was really for me. Uh, it was a detoxifying experience. It really helped to boost my uh, respect for uh, the broad group of Muslims uh, globally, I suppose. Um, and and take my focus, my eyes off um, the narrow experience I'd had before. It had become a narrow experience. It, it was no one's fault. It was my choice to have that narrow. You know, I ended up in that corner, in that um, in that rut. And um, so, oh, uh, please says how you keep it cool with Hatun and uh, we just it, it, okay. I, I will give advice here. I don't normally give advice. Ignore her. <laughs> Ignore Hatun. She thrives on the oxygen of publicity. She doesn't deserve it. She really doesn't deserve it. She just spreads. Paul, can you talk a little bit more about the narrow view that you said there was a narrow view that being exposed to more Muslims out there on the internet kind of like opened up your horizon? Can you talk a little bit more yes. about that, please? Yeah. Um, without going, because that's kind of a dark area in, in a way. Um, I, I'd, um, I, I come in contact with a group of people um, who had very, uh, very harsh and extreme views. On, on certain things and um, and I don't mean Salafis I know this is the the, the usual whipping boys uh, the Salafis for me were the heroes of this they're the ones that stood up for principle and and uh, against extremism but I, I, I bumped into um, some unpleasant characters without going into details and and that did affect me uh, to be honest and um, affect me affected me badly um, so blogging theology um, without me intending it, became um, a, a positive way out of that. Um, you know, in meeting people like you, Khalil, and, and other good people uh, who are intelligent and educated and sane, and everything else, you know, that, that uh, it's mattered to me. Um, and um, so, oh, Sheriff El Hadi, I am on board. Uh, Sheriff El Hadi is, um, I'm sure you won't mind, he is a, a very distinguished doctor uh, in Egypt. He's also a professor. Oh yeah, I know from Facebook. Uh, um, fact, yeah, so he um very pleased and honoured that he. Yeah, he's also been a, he's been a very good friend and um um advisor actually for me, um particularly in the early days when my videos weren't very good. Um, <laughs> um, Paul used to hold extreme views. According to most people, I still hold extreme views. You know about don't know about one of my extreme views is you know, uh, for example, I believe that. Sexual intimacy is for marriage. <gasps> no, I mean seriously, this this is an extreme view now. It really is. I believe. And How could you say that? <laughs> I know. I believe that people come in two genders. Ah, you know. I can't How many genders that. are there, Paul? Let me put you on the spot. But uh, uh, two. Okay, um, good. <laughs> but this is an extreme view. Um, I two believe, genders. That's it. <laughs> I know. Well, because I mean, I say this not because I have some. Um, special knowledge is because Revelation tells me this and science actually as well to be honest um, they, they both that um, so I, I've got some really extreme views but they're extreme by <laughs> the standards of what you hear in New York or London not by what you hear um, by most what I would call normal people in the world um, anyway interesting um, I'm just reading some of the uh, the, the, the comments um, so, um, yeah, people ask um, my library behind me, do, do I read, have I read all these books? No, I haven't. Let me explain. Uh, some of them are reference works, uh, dictionaries or uh, encyclopedias. Um, they're not meant to, or, or biblical commentaries. I have a lot of biblical commentaries. Uh, they're not meant to be read from cover to cover. So, um, most of the ones that are meant to be read from cover to cover, I have actually read, funnily enough. But I would say a minority of them I haven't because they're waiting to be read. Um, so yeah, they, they, they're most of the, they're a resource for me. Um, yeah, uh, Paul, extreme views are extremely good. <laughs> Thank you, <Kishore. laughs> that was good. That's a good, I like that. I, I hope that's I'm gonna nick that if I may. Uh, I'm gonna extremist recycle. Paul believes in yeah. two genders only. No, I have another extreme. This is the last extremist view I'm gonna air on YouTube before this account is closed down. I actually believe that divine law has a role in society. I believe that God's law has a role in society. I don't believe in a completely secular society where men make up the rules as they go along. <laughs> that's another extreme view I have. But that's yeah. enough of my extremism. I'll probably be lambasted now. 
yeah. So yeah. it's been a positive experience for you, Paul. Um, uh, you talked yes. about the positive positivity, which is the idea of meeting, you know, I guess different views on online and having expanding your horizon, I guess, on Islam's uh, Muslims and that, which is great. And they give you opportunity to meet a lot of scholars. You yourself, you said you learned so much. And even yourself, when you summarize things, or when we do podcasts together, summarize your guests, their points. I mean, obviously, your knowledge has skyrocketed and all. That's amazing. Now, what are some of the challenges that you went through um, as blogging theology was growing from when you started until now? I, well, the, one of the biggest challenges was producing a decent video <laughs> because, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I wasn't used to producing them. So even things like getting the volume right, and this is where um my good friend and advisor from egypt um a sheriff um really helped me uh because there's so many little bits and pieces on this computer that i can adjust to optimize the the volume and improve the quality of the picture and i didn't know any of this <laughs> um it was like i had to learn it really really slowly and get it better the lighting um which is still not 100 percent um yeah it's gotten better paul i remember you're lighting it I'm going to record. I have started re-recording some of these. I know these early videos with some decent audio now. Um, so um, yeah, so that was a really you know day in week in week out, frustratingly trying to improve things and not knowing how to do it, and and uh, and get then, then achieving that, and then the next obstacle, the next hurdle. Um, what about uh, dealing and, with people, Paul? De dealing with people. I don't want to say just trolls, but like you know. In anything in life, whenever you succeed in anything in life, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's some academic, academic achievement, whether it's financial, whether, you know, YouTube, you're always going to have this opinion or like people's opinion, criticism. Yeah. How did you handle that? And how 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 important was that into the success of the channel and all? Well, it's, it's a bit I mean, I, I'll tell you how I saw it. It's a bit embarrassing, but the overwhelming response I was getting big time was incredibly positive um actually uh, uh, there was there was some negatives um but i i don't mind criticism you know I, i'm imperfect i get things wrong i'm constantly having to change my views you know i've adopted certain extreme views now which i didn't have when i was growing up um but um and I, I, I only I, I do remove comments uh, 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 when they are personally abusive when they really attack when they're ad hominem viciously then i remove them because i don't think they're or they're attacking the prophet or they're, or they're just insulting a religion in a very um toxic way if they simply say oh i don't believe in god it's all fiction that's fine they can say that it doesn't bother me in the slightest mm -hmm. but if they say other things with four letter words and whatever and i notice it there's a good chance it's going to be removed because i don't think it's 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 not the forum to have that you know go on speaker's corner websites or whatever if you want to have that old conversation but but not here I'm trying to I'm trying to have some kind of civility. So, um. yeah. And uh, how many times have you heard this? Okay, I have to ask you this. I'm sorry. It's hundred thousand subscribers. You got to give us something, right? How many times have you heard this? Hey, Paul, are you a Muslim? <laughs> or like, hey, is Paul a Muslim on on the thing? Because it's still happening after a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the thing is that this channel, blogging theology, is not meant to be. And I really don't want it to be a Dawah channel, uh, an Islamic apologetics channel, a Muslim channel. It's supposed to be about the uh, uh, to try and bring in some objective information from different scholars. I mean, I've got Trinitarian scholars, people coming, Trinitarian people like Dale Martin. You know, I'm not giving them Dawah, you know, um, I'm there to learn from them. Now, it doesn't mean I agree with everything they say and often don't. So my own personal view is, yes, uh, uh, and I've made a video on this. I, I certainly accept that Muhammad uh, is a prophet of God. Uh, peace be upon him. And I certainly accept there is only one God and so on. So I, I certainly uh, see the Quran as the revelation of God without any reservation. It, it, it absolutely is. So, But I, I'm not here to promote Islam in that direct sense. Although I, I have my views and I have my bias, but I want this channel to be objective, not neutral. So... Um, you know, controversially, um, I have an icon of Thomas Aquinas still up there. I mean, I'm not particularly obsessed with Thomas Aquinas, um, but, um, you know, he represents some of the best theology and f philosophical thinking in the West ever. And he, he was heavily influenced by Islamic thinkers like uh, Ibn, uh, yeah, Ibn Sina and others, uh, Avores and things. So, 
um, he, he kind of symbolizes a non-Islamic kind of uh, front door to blogging theology. But, uh, you know, I have my views and, you know, I don't believe Jesus is God. Uh, I believe he was a prophet sent by God. I believe Muhammad is a prophet sent by God. I believe that Moses was sent by God. Um, and um, my own personal uh, views on Akida uh, and the Athari, uh, I, I follow the Athari creed and Hanbali in terms of the schools. Um, all right, all right, all right. We're going to uh, good stuff out of Paul Williams, finally. You know what you asked me, didn't you? Okay. Uh, that's fine, you know, the smallest of all the Madhabs. Uh, the Athari, uh, the, uh, the Hanbali Madhab, I, I certainly look, I kind of identify with that most naturally um, because of the Akita issue and also the way they, whatever. So um, that, that's where I am at. But I, I'm not, this channel is not, you know, there are lots and lots and lots of Dawa channels and Islamic apologetics channels. Um, and and, and we, many of them are very good, and, but I'd rather not do that. So when I have, um, I don't know, Dale Martin on, from Yale, a Trinitarian theologian and biblical scholar. I, I don't normally um, ever mention Islam. <laughs> it's simply not on the agenda. You know, I, I'm there to talk about the biblical Jesus or whatever. So, you know, th th that's the difference, I think. You know something, Paul, actually, uh, I think this is needed also. I don't want to say in a Taoist here because I understand the, the, uh, the style of your channel is different. And this is needed because now when you have a channel and you uh, promote it as this Dawa channel, it is always going to be viewed as this Dawa channel, whether it's from Christians, whether it's from when you bring scholars. It's almost like you come in from that side. You're going to yeah. ask me about the Prophet Muhammad yeah. from that side. So now if I say yes, that means I'm safe with that side. But when yeah. you come from like neutral perspective, like, look, this is what I believe, but my channel has got nothing to do with what I believe. I'm objectively investigating the truth. So I'm bringing yeah. Trinitarians, Unitarians, Jews, Etc. I know you had the rabbis there here too, and then you present, and then they present their narrative. And like so many scholars you've brought, and, and these guys are like high rollers, 20, 30 years PhD in their field, whether yeah. it's uh, for biblical uh, and, and uh, textual criticism, and, and they're saying that they actually, in the scholarly arena, they believe that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Yeah, I, I've heard. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, so you talk to average Joe in the street. And they get like anxiety. They start itching when you bring the problem. Muhammad, oh, I'm not sure if they're. Oh. Yeah. And they get like anxiety attack. And then you speak to scholars, and they confidently and comfortably telling you, "Yes, of course. Why, why, why are we not going to accept the prophet of God? He didn't bring anything opposing to what the other prophets brought. He didn't want anything for himself. You know, obviously yeah. historically speaking. Talk a little bit about that, if you don't mind, Paul, before I bring people in. Uh, no, that, that's a very, very good point. Sorry, someone just asked the question. Am I a, a fan of Ibn Taymiyyah? The short answer is yes. <laughs> anyway, back to the question. You don't want to ask Paul about Ibn Taymiyyah, trust me. Go ahead. Keep going. I, I, get, I get all fanatical when I talk about Ibn Taymiyyah. I, I, fact, I know you do. Uh, one of the, uh, the books I'm going to give away is a book um, about Ibn Taymiyyah uh, by John Hoover, who's one of the world's experts. Uh, yes. he's, he's a British professor. He's not a Muslim even, but he, his book on Ibn Taymiyyah is brilliant. Anyway, coming back to this important point. Um, yeah, I mean, I can focus it on one guy, Keith Ward, uh, who is a Regis Professor of Divinity at Oxford. Now, what's a Regis Professor? Well, you get ordinary professors, yeah? Professor at any old run-of-the-mill university. Then you get the elite professors, and they are in Britain, in the UK. They're called the Regis Professors, and they're appointed by nominally by the Queen. So they, it's kind of an official thing. So if you're the very, very best kind of professor there is, you are a regional professor. Uh, Keith Ward is that at Oxford, and he's a Christian theologian uh, and scholar of the highest caliber. And I've read a lot of his books. He's very, very good on um, uh, uh, dealing with objections to uh, uh, dealing with atheism um, and, uh, and the philosophy of science and things like that. Very, very good. Anyway, um, now, I knew that he thought Muhammad was a prophet of God because he says so in one of his books. So I wasn't. So I thought it'd be nice to have him say that. So I asked him what he thought. And of course, he said, yes, I think Muhammad's prophet of God. Uh, but he put it very carefully. He said, yes, I, I, I will quote him. I think he said, yeah, uh, uh, Muhammad is an authentic prophet of God. He really emphasized the, the truthfulness, the reality of his prophethood. He really was sent by God. And then I thought, I hadn't scripted to ask him but i thought hang on let me just ask him what about all your colleagues you know around the world your fellow professors in america in, in other places your your christian philosopher 
theological colleagues. What do they think about Muhammad? <laughs> oh, yeah, that they all think he's a prophet as well. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? What's I'm happening like, here? <laughs> what? You're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say, oh, well, it's just me, really. And No, but basically, so what you've got here, I, I put it in this kind of Muslim language, um, that the Christian ulama, yeah, the elite scholars, they all, ex not they all, virtually all, it seems, except that Muhammad is a prophet of God. But on the street level, as you say, you know, um, the average person in the pew, particularly in America, for example, I don't imagine they routinely think Muhammad is a prophet of God. So we, we've got this huge gulf separating. Now, why do the uh, Christian theologians think this? Because, uh, in my view, it's because they have been educated to such a high level. Mm -hmm. And they are usually people of integrity and great, great knowledge. You know, they don't just look at the Bible. They look at all the world's religions and they understand them very well. You know, they they know what's what. They get it. They get it. They get it. They get it. I just find so, it, find it yeah. funny, Paul, when you have like somebody who doesn't speak Greek, doesn't know Hebrew, haven't probably even finished like a, a book, probably read like a book, two books, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to judge anybody. You, you lack knowledge. You don't, you don't understand what you're talking about. You just, you're like a, like a ball of emotions that's rolling in the park, you know? really like to explode any moment you know it's just emotional and then you have an opinion about who the prophet is and aisha marriage and then you have another opinion like you said of the christian ulama you know the scholars the, the elites and then they have a completely different opinion about this it's just mind-blowing like how i really don't understand it how... is it is mind-blowing um no, I, 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 would, I was shocked myself because I, I didn't expect to, you know, well, when the Regis Professor of Divinity at Oxford tells you that most of his colleagues, his Christian theologians' colleagues, also accept Muhammad the Prophet of God, you take, and he says that publicly on camera, and he's never withdrawn it. I mean, that, and no one's ever complained that it was false, by the way. There we are. You know, I mean, we're, we're dealing with an amazing reality. I mean, the analogy would be as if, you know, the Saudi ulama, all publicly thought that Jesus was the son of God who died for their sins. I mean, that would be the equivalent. I mean, it's just, you, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> you know? um, so it's amazing. Uh, the, the West, in the form of its theologians, have basically um, conceded the point. After 1,400 years of argument, they've conceded the point uh, to the Muslim world. Yep. He he was a prophet of God. You were right, and he has he had, and it's not like you you bribed the guy or like you know you sent him a check or like you told him listen I'll be your friend I'll 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 follow you on Instagram or this guy doesn't need my friend. No, he, he I've, I've never, by the way I've never paid if you you, get, you wanted to know I've never paid anyone anything. I've not even paid you, Kelly, to come on today. Bless you. Um, so right. no one's been paid a penny. No. Yeah. So like these people like just I mean I so recommend I'm sure you guys have watched this but I recommend if you guys haven't watched these videos. Uh, what are some of the who are some of the scholars? I think it was uh, Reverend um, Keith Ward. Well, that was that was Keith Ward. I was just talking about. And then uh, it was uh, also someone else said this too. Dale Martin said this, I think, if I'm not mistaken. No, well, Dale Martin, no, he he kind of equivocated. Uh, if I understand, someone else. He, he said he didn't understand quite, yeah, the, what, the, quite what the issues were. He didn't want to be committed publicly. Um, there was someone else, I think, who said this, but I recommend you guys yeah. check it out. The videos, it's just yeah. like mind blowing. The Keith yeah. Ward one, you can just get, get, uh, Ward W A R D. Just Google it uh, along the um, the search facility on blogging theology. Just look for it, and uh, you, you'll see it there. The, the, there's a couple of videos. Um, yeah, there were a few others, and I can't remember who else. <laughs> I wish I remember. Yeah, you, you have a lot of content, man. You have a lot of videos. It's just, sometimes um, it's difficult to catch up with your stuff. Like I still haven't yeah, watched the uh, the Yahweh video. I started watching last night. Um, you and uh, Alia, Doctor Alia Tai, Professor Alia yeah. Tai. What a wonderful guy! Actually, I, yeah. I, I used to I, I look up to that guy. Like the reason why I learned Hebrew and I'm learning Greek right now, intermediate level Greek, is because wow. of Alia Tai. I was watching this guy speak, and then he just started. Just drop in Hebrew and Greek like it's like like some like some artist yeah, in yeah. theology. I was like, wow, this guy is unbelievable. So yeah, I look up to this guy. And I was watching his video with you yesterday uh, about Isaiah forty two, right? Amazing content. I haven't finished it yet, but yeah, you do have a lot. Of I'm going to. I've done a, a very short extract. Uh, the first one there was a problem. The, the last few seconds were lost, but I've kept it up. Maybe I should delete it. So I put it up again with the full extract. It was only about two minutes long. Um, but he deals with the 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 common polemical objection to 
the Quran where, you know, the Quran never calls God uh, Yahweh, which is the biblical name for God. How, you know, it just proves Islam is false. It doesn't even call him by his own name, God's name. And Ali Atai deals with this very well. Uh, it completely compelling, convincing, I think. Um, you can watch that. I mean, it's only a couple of minutes. I really recommend people watch it. Uh, he gives the absolute definitive 100% answer, which should put this issue to bed for all time, in my view. It's yeah. simply a not issue. The other thing I was going to say, I think what makes your channel um, unique also is the style is different, that you don't mm. have just uh, this typical, kind of like what I do sometimes and many other channels, when you have a guest who's a Christian or whatever, right? And then you kind of like have like this mini debate going on, right? Mm. Or record debates. You don't, you're not really interested in that stuff, this type of confrontational type of thing. It's more like content. Like not to take away uh, anything from other channels. They're all great. My last panel, I bless them all. It's just that your style is a little bit different. Like it's more focused and oriented towards bringing the experts in the field and talk to them and have them tell you what's going on. You interview them in such a great manner. I think that's pretty mm. unique and cool and needed. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love arguing. I love debates. Believe me, uh, that's I one know, of the I've seen it before. That's yeah, that's why it's biggest corner. I, I know I can believe me. I can do it. Um, but when you have the Regent Professor of Divinity from Oxford, when you have a professor from Yale, when you have a professor from Cambridge University, uh, Abdul Hakim Murray, you don't argue with wow. them like that. You just don't. You know, if they're your guests, you treat I treat them with respect. I learn from them. If I really don't agree or understand, I might say something, but I'm not here to argue with them. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm here to learn, you know, uh, what an opportunity you waste. If I was to lay into these guys, not that I would, God forbid, what a waste of an opportunity. Because I'm not going to learn anything from them, am I? I'm just, just expressing my ego. If I want to have an argument, I can do it in many other platforms, uh, Speaks Corner online, easy, but not here. Yeah, um, good point. All right, Paul, we've been around for about 40 minutes, 41 minutes or so. Yeah, we need to move up. Link and uh, get some people in so they can test yes, their BT knowledge and following and see whether they're able to answer your question to get a book, right? Yes. So we haven't done this before, so uh, we'll see how it works. Um, All right, let's see here, guys. I'm going to drop that link. Take it easy, uh, Paul, on the questions, right? Don't get too hard. <laughs> don't, don't be too hard on people on the guests you want to give the books away you don't want to keep I'm, feeling, books. I'm feeling mean i'm feeling mean let's see what <laughs> um, all right okay blogging theology all right sorry about that the best right. is a bit slow is giving water Um, another, I think I saw somebody comment this. When, when yeah. are you going to have Butterman? Yeah. Um, well, what happened was uh, he was contacted. Uh, someone I know contacted him on, on my behalf. It was very kind of him. And um, he uh, he will come on, but there will be a quite a substantial fee that I have to pay him. And, um, oh, really? Okay. Yes. And, um, and even though I could pay him, I decided not to. Because personally, I've read probably most of his books. And I've learned a great deal from him. But the thought of actually paying him money then to come on and talk about what I've already read about. Mm, OK, but maybe in the future. I'm not, I mean, I'd love to have him on. Don't get me wrong. But he's the only guest so far that's actually demanded cash up front to appear on the channel. Oh, that was pretty straightforward. <laughs> Thanks for uh, sharing that. OK. All right, guys. The link is dropped in the chat. Click on the yeah. link. And, so what do I do? Uh, I click on the link, do I? Or, yeah. That's it. Now, okay. now, now just keep... Um... Keep uh, you know eye on uh, the bottom part of your stream yard. You're gonna see people joining in, and you can let them in. Wow, I think there's uh, someone already. No, yeah, I there's think, several. Uh, yeah. So I just I'll click on. So one when there. I when I opened up Clubhouse earlier and their uh, blogging theology, and brother Ami joined there, and I told him about the books. Oh, so like, so the message just come up here. Someone's trying to enter, but the studio is full. Ten people. Please ask someone to leave if you like the new. How many people do you have on the bottom? I can't tell. Uh, but it's, it's telling me now there's 10 max. Do you uh, see them in the bottom? Yes. Yeah, so I guess you can go order whatever you like. Okay, I'm going to... Um, okay, don't... Let me just click on get rid of that message. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, Samid. Samid. Hello, Samid. Samid uh, you got to turn your camera on, man. We have to know. We have to make yeah. sure you're not... Over. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, hello. Salam. Nice can long hair, bro. Right? Nice long hair, bro. Thank you. Thank you. 
What a thing to say. What a thing to say. Hey, man, complimenting the guy. Young guy. <laughs> oh, is that what you do? <laughs> complimenting your hair. That's very nice. Well, where's your hair coming up then? Um, so, Samid, um, hello. Um, so what, what, my, my first question to you, can you um, tell me one important fact about one of the videos on blogging theology you've watched? Um, That's my first I feel question. like the, the most surprising one for me was, was like Dr. Ali Atai's video whereby like he was analyzing the Bible and and, very, and like describing how like um, the prophet is, Salah Islam is prophesied there, there too. Because I, and then, and the way he analyzed that, and then it's, it looks like kind of obvious, like it's, it's so clear. That's what surprised yeah. me. Like that, that's, 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 that's the fact that surprised me. Uh, because I, I was wondering like, how can, if it's so, if it fits so nicely, I, I, I wonder why people are so militantly against, like even the suggestion that, you know, that prophet, prophet is uh, prophesized. Like that, that just bugs me now. Like, how is that possible? Nice. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm going to have to interrupt. I'm sorry. That's yeah. kind of like, that was beautiful, but too, too broad. You got to make it a little harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a prop. You got to give us a prophecy. Uh, give us no, a chapter. No, you got to give us no, a chapter. Yeah, this, is a, this is my first ever question on live stream. He's answered the question. Um, oh, man. That was so, easy. Now, the next one won't be so easy, but thank you, Sammy, for your. You've answered my question. Um, so. Um, I was going to go through. I just, I just go through everyone what the books I've got. All right. So, um, and then we'll come to which one you're going to get. So, I've got this one by uh, apostate uh, by the the former Dutch far right politician uh, Joran van Cleveren. This is actually a really good book. Um, I've also got this book, Stephen Myers' new book, Return of the God Hypothesis: Three Scientific Discoveries That Reveal the Mind Behind the Universe. And it's endorsed by some amazingly top scientists. Um, this book, um, Man and the Universe, an Islamic Perspective by Mustafa Badawi. He's a consultant psychiatrist here in London. Beautiful book. Um, John Barton, The History of the Bible. He's appeared on Blogging Theology. Fantastic. One of my favorites, the final, sorry, the first and final commandment by Dr. Lawrence Brown, A Search for Truth in Revelation Within the Abrahamic Religions. Excellent book. Uh, another one is... Uh, a book on Ibn Taymiyyah, who I'm very keen on, by John Hoover. He's a professor here in England. Uh, he's not a Muslim, but it's an excellent, critical, modern uh, introduction to his thought. This is one of my favorite books I'm reading at the moment. I'm rereading it, I should say. Second edition, Hadith, by Jonathan A.C. Brown, professor in the States. Muhammad's legacy in the medieval and modern world. It tells you all you need to know about Hadith. Um Bar Ehrman, this is his popular one, Forged, oh, um, rather than the academic one, which um, is probably not, well, I'm not going to give it, it's, it's too much, I think. Writing in the name of God, why the Bible's authors are not who we think they are. And he explains, what this is mainstream scholarship, by the way. It's not Bar Ehrman's weird views. This is totally mainstream. Uh, another one, another guest I've had on, Mustafa Akio, the Islamic Jesus, how the king of the Jews became a prophet of the Muslims, nearly end, uh, and this was good for me. The complete idiot's guide to the Talmud. So, if you want to know what the Talmud is, this is what Jews today, pious Jews, are focused very much on the Talmud rather than the Old Testament. Um, last couple ones, uh, one of my favorites, the historical figure of Jesus by E.P. Psalms, one of America's leading um, New Testament scholars. Excellent introduction. Uh, Quranic Keywords, I've been using that to make a lot of videos by Abdul uh, Rashid Siddiqui, excellent book. And lastly, um, by a guest I've had on, Dr. Shabir Akhtar from Oxford University, the New Testament in Muslims uh, in Muslim eyes, Paul's letter to the Galatians. This is the first ever Muslim commentary on Paul's letter to Galatians ever written, uh, published by Routledge. Um, this is an academic work that's really very good. So as you're the first one on, and I'm feeling generous, which one of those do you want? <laughs> wow. I'm like mind blown right now. Like, awesome, like, I, I, if I knew this, I would have just called instead of being here. You're just jealous, <laughs> Kyle. I am. <laughs> Can I have like uh, um, um, Paul's, uh, the one on Paul's letter, letters to Galatians? By oh, Dr. Good choice. Good choice, sir. Yes. Uh, good choice. Um, that's, sorry. Here we go. Uh, there we are. The new This one? The New Testament yep, in Muslim eyes. Yeah, yep, that's the one. Yep. 
good stuff. Uh, yep, he, he's a, an academic at uh, University of Oxford. He's been on blogging theology, and um, this is actually very, very good. Okay, so Khalil, uh, both podcast as well. Like, uh, let me just say this: like, seriously, Paul, this is like what you've done over here. It's awesome. Like, I just like I we really appreciate it. Uh, that's I just wanted to say this over here. Like, thanks for that. Oh, that's very sweet. Well, uh, thank you. Um, what I do, we'll, we'll take your physical address, or Khalil will, or you, mm -hmm. you put it in. Um, uh, as long the thing as, is, uh, Paul, is that what? private chat, there are more people. So everyone who's in the back chat right now has access to the private chat. And we want to keep your privacy. We don't want people to drop their private chat for everybody to have access to. So what you could do to me, you could probably email it to me directly. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what would, uh, can I just take your email then? Yeah, I'll just... What do you think, Paul? Is that good? Is it, what do you want to do a different no, way? No, no, good. Whatever, work, whatever works. Whatever works. So we've not done this before, so we're kind of learning how to do it. Yeah. Do you have um, Twitter? Um, yeah. Um, it's, do you have Twitter or no? Do you follow yeah, me yeah. Or, or Paul? I've literally, like, I've got zero. I follow no one, and I've got, like, I, I no made one? very recently. What yeah, do you think you're cool, bro? No, no, no. I, I just made, like, uh, I don't know, like, two months explain, ago. Explain with you. Account, but I've just, well, just you have a couple time. options. You can either uh, uh, DM it to me or, or to Paul on Twitter. Yeah. Or yeah. you can email it to me or to Paul. It's up to you. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take an email. Like I feel like that's yes. Yeah. Can we keep it clean and just one way of doing it? Otherwise, it's going to get all over the place and get confused. So yeah. So yeah. I'll just leave my email here, in a, in a private chat for everybody who's in the back chat to have access to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Great, Samid. Okay. So um, the point is, as long as Amazon can send can, uh, the company Amazon can physically send you the book, it, it'll mm -hmm. happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually in the UK only, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, yeah. So I'm not physically going to be wrapping up this book. It's going to be a new book from directly from Amazon going straight to the address that you give us. Uh, so that's the idea. Okay. Sure. Okay, so my oh. email is there already. Do you see it? Not not yet, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, now I do. Link. It's asymptomata at gmail.com. Uh, just the, so what do you need? Do you need his name, address? Yeah, name address and ideally uh, email address. Uh, yeah, sorry, physical address to send it to an email, obviously. So just in case there are any problems yeah. and whatever. So okay, um, make sure you include apartment number, all that stuff that whatever stuff you put on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, cool. you're a lucky man. That, that was very easy. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, the next one going to be are going to be mercy. Are going to not have any mercy Bye. on the next one. It's going to be Thanks. cruel. Cruel. Awesome, all right, so mate, thanks for enjoy happy reading. Happy reading. So, I mean, the picture froze, so you can just like. Uh, I, I just removed him anyway. So. Well, now the other thing I'm um, thinking about, I kind of feel bad for the people who like uh, joined uh, late or like. If you gotta go in order, I, I don't know how you're gonna do this, but like some people are still trying to join. Maybe. maybe and you already have thirteen. Neither do I. Yeah, so I don't know how you wanna do it, but anyway. Uh, I, I don't know. We're gonna, this is a trial and error. So um, I guess I'm I mean, gonna it's go fair, right. It's fair. Whoever jumped in first, obviously, like was more alert and more ready to. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming right? so that'll be uh, Acme. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, as they appeared in the bottom here, that'll be in order. So I'll go to the next one, which is Acme. Uh, can you make can you make can you make a question harder for Ami? Please, he's, he's, he's oh, a good come on, guys, make it easy for me, please. No, no, no. <laughs> this guy, this guy hosts rooms, man. He's got like uh, ask these Muslims on Clubhouse and stuff. This guy knows what he's talking about. You gotta make your heart, Paul. Come on, just kidding. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna be one of the conditions. Is we've got to see you. I'm afraid it's all part of the. Uh, so. Oh yeah, sorry, can video on. Oh, my switch? camera's not working poor, unfortunately. Um, but I'm regularly, you got the uh, brother who uh, put that, you know, the ad uh, the uh, on your community page, my yeah, uh, my club link. Uh, you know, uh, I do actually, I do know this guy. Your voice is absolutely recognizable. No, fair enough. Um, Thanks, Paul. So, um, um, so t tell me, uh, uh, so come on, Kale, we've got to think of some questions. Come on, help me out here. You gotta make it, this guy, this guy knows his stuff. You gotta make it hard for him. Oh, <laughs> no, this, man. yeah, this guy. Guy knows his stuff as well, unfortunately. Um, so it makes, makes okay. it difficult. Cool. Um, uh, ask him about uh, the latest video you had with uh, Dr. Ali Atai and how many uh, Isaiah are there? How, how many authors of Isaiah are there? And where does Isaiah 42 belong? Which proto, which duro Isaiah? Ooh, that's, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, that's it. We'll go with that. Yeah, so yeah, sorry, Ami. <laughs> in fact, I did actually hear what um, Ali Atai said, so that would be a bit advantageous. I think he said there were three, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's your answer today. So I don't want to get too much into depth no, in case I get caught out. But he, 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 he put it into the prototype. 
<laughs> so the pro prototype Isaiah, which was, I which think, the, the first 39 chapters, if I recall. And that so is which, the, which of the which of the eyes sorry hang on which of the three Isaiahs does uh, Isaiah forty two come in? So that would be in the second. Okay. Good yeah. job. You you won you got you got your book. We have got a winner. We have got a, a winner, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. And actually a good, good, well done, Color. That was actually a, a generally that's a good question. That's a, good that's question. a fair question, right? That was a good question. I appreciate. Yeah, that. Thank you. It's a bit more rigorous than my question. Like you know, um, so. Right, I mean, which um, did you, did you see the list of books? Which one did you want then as your prize? Well, I was hoping you could bang out the introduction to the New Testament, that massive thick volume by um, Raymond Brown, but you don't have that as an option, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um, what was I going to say? So, one of uh, uh, you, you've got no books from Jimmy Dunn, have you, uh, at the moment, Paul? On who, sorry? On James Dunn, any of his books? James Dunn. No, it was. It was. Uh, I've got the, the the dozen books here. Did you not oh, see? I see. What I, what I yeah, no, you did. I did. I did. I just wanted to see uh, if I can pull something else else out of the hat. Okay, I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll have a look at Forged if that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's so. I'm just so excited, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's. I know uh, the feeling. I know the feeling. It's like a kid in a candy forged. shop. Yeah, forged. definitely. Okay. So this is by Bar. I mean, this is, this is actually a really good book. Mainstream scholarship. Give me all the books. Out. <laughs> all the, yeah. the forgeries in the Bible, and unfortunately, there are quite a few of them. Uh, okay, so if you uh, if you uh, get Kalio's email and send him your details, and I'll get Amazon. Yeah, too. you have access. Uh, we we, talk, we we cost, we we are we're on touch on Clubhouse and stuff. Yeah, my yeah. email is also on there in a the private chat if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, but um, and so I'll I'll email my details to you, inshallah. And just to say, lastly, okay. you know, it's, Paul's been very kind, and we just all have to. Give huge credit to the effort he's putting in for the sake of is well for the sake of uh, the manner in which he's trying to bring community cohesion amongst all peoples of the monotheistic disposition. So we should be very much encouraging him, and let's hope that when we speak this time next year, we'll have hit the million mark. Inshallah. Yes, I believe that when I say it. That's very kind of you, though. Thank you very, very much. Okay, pleasure. Thank you so much. Salam alaikum. Thank you, brother. I mean, keep up the good work in Clubhouse. Okay, so who's our next victim? I mean, who is our next guest? <laughs> um, Aiden Kroll, hello. Do you have a, a mic on? We can't hear you, Kroll. Are you in class, bro? Are you in class? Like, this guy's Dude. in class. Dude, you're in class, bro. You can't call it class. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, well... We're going to need to talk, so you're sure going to have to speak. <laughs> you're going to have to speak, and you can't because you're in class. All right. Um, tell okay. her that you have that. Tell her your stomach okay. hurts. Sorry, I've had to remove him because um, you know we've got to be able to talk. Um, prophetic admirer, hello. Greetings. Camera on, prophetic admirer, and voice. Sorry, assalamualaikum. Sorry, hello. I can I cannot switch on my camera. Actually. No, the condition is camera. I mean, only was. Able to like slip because he knows Paul and that. I don't know. Paul, it's up to I, you. I, yeah, actually, no, I, we're gonna switch. Actually, it is twelve thirty-three a.m. here, and everybody's sleeping in the room. So if in a room, you sleep in a room with people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. I think up we're to gonna. Have, no, we're gonna. Sorry, mate. We're gonna have to keep with the camera roll. I think otherwise, otherwise it, it comes. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, no problem. All right, take care. Um, yeah, I guess I can free books, man. At least you could do is turn the camera on. Come on, like I, if, yeah. I was, if I was home in bed, I would literally turn it on under the blanket just to show my face to get a book. Come on, <laughs> some of these <laughs> books are not cheap, by the way. So, um, it'd be good to see you, uh, Max. Um, if you're with us, hello, Max. Coming, come in, Max. Are you there, Max? No, okay, no, hello, can you hear us? No, okay. Um, oh no, that's sorry, wrong one. Uh, okay, I'm going to remove that. There's, there's fortunately a technical problem. They might come back. Uh, Nums, hello, sir or madam. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nums, please unmute your mic and turn your camera on. Okay, people in the back chat and people also like in the chat. The condition is that you have to obviously speak, show your face. And have a conversation. Answer the question. Because I've got to ask yeah, you some those, those questions. Oh, hang on. Prophetic yeah, yeah. seems to be in. 
You guys know the rules already. What why is no, no. okay? Next one we're gonna to go to Zaid. Finally. How are you, sir? Uh, very fine, alhamdulillah. I'm very interested in your channel and I find your information very objective and very beautiful. Thank you. Where are you from? I am from Germany, but I come from Syria. Okay. Cool. MashaAllah. Okay. Um, so Khalil's going to give me some suggestions of asking a, a very difficult question, aren't you, Khalil? Uh, I even, <laughs> you're good I at this. Pre- good at I was not prepared uh, for this. All right. So tell us, um, what is the most common prophecy that Muslim polemics and apologetics use from the book of Deuteronomy? I'll give you this. You get to pick either from the book of Deuteronomy or the book of Isaiah. There are a lot of prophecies. But which ones are the most common and strong ones used? Um, there are two to my knowledge. One in Isaiah, where it talks about the singing servant, not the singing servant, the servant of God who is going to be sent to the to the Kaidans in in Arabia. We can know this because of the mountains there and other things. There is one also in Deuteronomy on the mouth of Moses, allegedly or really. You have to watch the video of Ali Ate with Paul, and you can Which know that. Which chapter is the one in Isaiah? Uh, the, one, the, one to, the one with Isaiah or the one with Moses? I know both. The, the one in Isaiah. In Isaiah, it talks about a servant from God Which chapter? who is going Which to chapter? be sent to the Ismailite. Which chapter? Uh, 42. Very good. Good job. Congratulations. Oh. Congrats. That okay. was good enough. You did okay, good. That's, that's an, enough torture of Zay there. You did good. Um, you did good. <laughs> um, which of these are lovely books do you want, Zay? Did you did you see the did you see what I showed? Did, did yes, I would book? prefer the one with one man and the word. With the word. The what? One man and and the universe, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yes. Oh, right. Interesting. Ah, yes, indeed. Man and the universe, that one. Man and the universe. Mustafa al Badawi, the consultant psych- uh, psychiatrist. This is a very good book. Oh, good choice, though. Good very choice. good choice. Good choice. Very good choice, mashallah. So, yep. If you uh, get the, if you get Khalil's email and just, uh, just remind him in the email what the book is, by the way. Everyone, can you just remind us what which book you want uh, as well? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Please. Which <laughs> I'm not going to remember. <laughs> Um, do you, you have great. my email, uh, Zaid? It's in the back chat, uh, it's in the private chat. Do you see my email there? Yes, I will send you an email. Yes, yeah, so I mean, email with your name, address. Uh, obviously, your email will be there, and then the book that you picked. Uh, good job, okay. good, good man. Job. Thank you, Zaid, for your time. Fantastic, Salam good Zaid. stuff. Um, very, very good young brother. Yeah, very impressed. Uh, Mohammed oh. hey man, what's up? As salamu alaikum. Oh, that's very clear, one. very clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, where are you? Where, where are you, Mohammed? Um, and this may be a little anticlimactic, but I am actually from the other side of the world. I am from Pakistan. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if Amazon ships there. Wait, do you order books from Amazon? Do you know people that order? I'm sure they do. No, no. Um, no, no. I mean, we, you guys in the chat, if you guys in the chat know anything about um, Amazon. In uh, Pakistan, thing, please let us know whether they deliver there or not. Yeah, but um, so that's an issue, Paul, right? If they don't deliver, if Amazon doesn't it deliver, is. yeah, that, that was always, um, there's always clear it has to be from Amazon. Well, because that's the main one I use. I mean, if there's another distributor I can use, that's fine, but um, um, yeah, I think there are distributors, yes, there are. Sorry, it was there are distributors the, the, Amazon do mail to Pakistan. I think they do. I think they do. Someone just said no Amazon in Pakistan. That's one person. Okay. If m- okay. more people can confirm. Uh, so, Paul, are you only doing Amazon? Can you do, for example, eBay or that's not uh, part of? I've never done eBay before. It's, someone's saying uh, in the uh, Usman Khan says Amazon does ship books to Pakistan. Um, and someone says no Amazon in Pakistan. So, um... I mean, we might have to see, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we might have to see later. Uh, we, we have uh, we have Amazon in Pakistan, says Khalid bin Walid. Okay, um, we're going to go on the assumption that we, they do do it. If there's a problem, we'll we'll fi- we'll find some way, other way of doing it. So, so we'll Paul, work- here's my suggestion. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that right directly. If there's an issue, 
maybe uh, Mohammed can give us an address that someone he knows in in UK, and he can deliver yeah. it there, and then they can figure out how to give it to him. We'll, we'll, we'll work something or whatever. out. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll work something out. So, um, Khaled, um, as you're so good with questions. What, okay. What uh, so, Kat is suggesting: Can the brother use what uh, Amazon digital book like Kindle? Oh, check Google on Amazon in Pakistan. Difficult question. It looks as if they they do do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's an option of Kindle, but anyways, if it's not hard. Whatever. Enough, we'll, we'll, we'll sort something out. We'll sort something out. Okay. So. Okay. Hey, yeah. Sorry. Man, I'm not prepared for this. I wish I was prepared for this. Okay. No, uh, I'm not prepared either. Um. So. Maybe you can tell us about uh, which scholar that was invited to blog in theology who actually affirmed that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is indeed a prophet of God. We talked about this all uh, already. I think it's Keith Ward. I mean, we, we just talked about it, right? You 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 talked about it, I think. That was easy, Raffle. <laughs> yeah, did, yeah, did he say it? Yeah, he answered it. Repeat it again. Repeat the answer again, Muhammad. Keith Ward. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely did. Beg your pardon. Yeah, you absolutely did. Well done. Okay. Well, um, which, which, uh, we must toughen up these questions, Kelly. No, I must think of one as well. I, I know, uh, I know. Sorry. <laughs> which, um, uh, do you remember the books we went through? Did you have any particular preference, Muhammad? Um, you can you repeat the books again? I might oh. have personal personal one I like. Yeah, yeah, but but so everybody who's watching, please pay attention so we don't keep repeating every caller. Thirteen books, right? So yeah, pay, yeah. Right. So, uh, we got this one: uh, historical figure of Jesus by E. P. Saunders, an excellent introduction to the academic study of the historical Jesus. Uh, chronic keywords I've often used this: the reference guide. Um, um, John Barton, his book, uh, the history of the Bible. This is an absolute classic, just newly published, brilliant introduction. Um, Stephen Mayer's book, Return of the God Hypothesis, about how science is basically bringing back the idea of intelligent design. Uh, Apostate by the former Dutch post politician. Book on the Talmud. Uh, the Islamic Jesus by Mustafa Akiol, who's been on Blogging Theology. Hadith. Um, Ibn Taymiyyah, my hero. The moon. And um, there we go. Lawrence Brown. All right. So I think I'm divided between um, should I go for the Talmud one or the one regarding the proof of God, the one with which has I think the galaxy in in its yeah, cover. Yeah. I'm confused between this one. I mean you you you, you suggest one. You suggest one. Well I, I'm I'm quite keen that people should learn more about Judaism is such a so I, I I if I could recommend something the the book on the Talmud would be one because it's such an important area that we people in general need to understand better, uh, but that that would be my preference. But it's up to you. Um, right. I'm a, on, the, on the second thought. I, I really think I should go for the one which contains the proof of God. Right, the proof of God. Yalla, Muhammad. Yalla, bro. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Okay. So well. So we're we going for the return of the God hypothesis, yeah? No. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we'll go, that's fine. We're, we're, going for, uh, we're going to have to move on. So thank you very much indeed, sir. Um, well, give your details to Khalid by email. You've been doing great work. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. The email is there in a private chat, Mohammed. So make sure to grab it before you leave. Good stuff. Hello, Salman. Good evening to you. Hi. Sir. Thank you, thank you. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. But well, whereabouts are you? Uh, which part of the world? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Oh, hello, cool. hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right. Do, um, do uh, Amazon must go to Saudi? I imagine Amazon must deliver to Saudi. Do they? Yeah, yeah. It's easy. I yeah, think. Yeah. Is it Amazon.com? Yeah, yeah, Amazon, the company, yeah. they deliver to Saudi Arabia, right? They deliver. I'm pretty sure they deliver. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they deliver there. All right. Do you want me to ask the question, Paul, or do you have something? 
Yeah, if you, if you have something, yeah, sorry. Okay, so, no, Khalil, so you man. have hard questions. I want uh, Paul's questions. No, 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 it's easy, man. You look like a smart guy. <laughs> you, you wear glasses. Only people with glasses are smart uh, people. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I wasn't keeping up with the Paul's channels. Uh, the okay, last that, don't worry. I want to ask you about. I want to ask you so much about the content. I'll ask you about something that. Okay. Everyone talks about in it comes to the Bible, including Paul, obviously. Uh, list or um give me one verse in the whole entire new testament that uh supposedly is supposed to uh substantiate the trinity that is now found not to be existent in any ancient manuscript one verse that's supposed to support the trinity but now we know it's not found in any ancient manuscripts Basically, it was added later. It was added up later to the Bible, you mean? Yes, and for for centuries, people thought it is actually legitimate, but now we know from ancient manuscript, Greek manuscript, that, that the verse doesn't exist. Uh, I think the KJV kept it, but most revised, all revised versions have removed it as a later edition. What's that verse? Please, people in the chat, don't is type it... it. Please don't type it, guys. Please delete your comments. And Salman, don't look in the comments in the chat, please, guys. <laughs> Moderators, please delete those comments that have the answer. Is it the one uh, that uh, says when uh, someone uh, came to Jesus and said, uh, oh, good teacher, what uh, no. must I do to have a... Let me give you a hint. It's not a, it's not a quotation from Jesus. It's not. It's not even... It's not even part of the four gospels. It's not part of it's not it's not in Luke, Mark, Matthew, or John. It's not. It's, it's later, after. The ones after. I really have no idea about it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Should we give another question, Paul? Or, or does he lose? Or? Yeah, one more question. That was too hard. I think it's a very okay. bit of specialist. Um, yeah, I think too hard. Okay. Anyway, the answer for that one is first John five seven. So put that aside. The other question is this, out of the four Gospels, Mark, Matthew, Luke, John, which one has uh, different endings, about five different endings, that now when you go to any revised version, you'll find that this endings, I think it's uh, chapter uh, 9, verse 16 down, it says not found in any manuscripts. So basically, which are the four Gospels that has an ending that's been changed because there are multiple endings. Uh, I didn't uh, follow up uh, your question from the beginning, but uh, my information about the core of uh, the four Gospels is that uh, the first one uh, wrote was Mark, and then after that is Luke, and then after that is... Uh, uh, the last one is John, John's Gospel. Yeah. So out of these four, yes, which one has which one has an ending that is not authentic? There are they, they found multiple endings, long ending, short ending. Which gospel of these four has an ending that is not authentic? I think uh, supposedly maybe the last one to be written, maybe Jones. No, wrong answer. All right. Well, one last go, and then, then, then that, that, that if you fail this one, that's it. Um, okay. <laughs> Tell me. I'll, I'll, I'll ask this question. Can you give me the names of the um, the people who founded the four mudhabs? You know, what, what, who who are they named after? So there's the there's this mudhab, there's this school of thought, there's that. Oh, that's easy. Come on, man. You're from Saudi Arabia. You know this. Uh, Sorry? Yes, al uh, Madhab al Hanbali, yeah, al Maliki, al Shafi'i, and oh my God, I I know them. Take, but... take, take, take your time. <laughs> take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Do you know the that? answer? Yeah. So who was the first? Who was the first one? First school. Uh, 
it starts it's it's so you said hanbali right did you say Han- no no you, you said you, you said hanbali the other one yeah you said hanbali yeah you said hanbali, hanbali right? oh, the, okay the hanbali. other one the other one yeah was shafi well maliki okay well yeah. It, it sounds like it, 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 it sounds like Hanbali. The beginning of it sounds like Hanbali, but it's not. A Hanafi, a Hanafi. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Khalil. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excellent, excellent. The Hanafi oh. school, Abu Hanifa. Yes, yes. Yes. yes, Widely followed um, school today. Fantastic. Good. So, uh, and your prize, <laughs> now, which which of your prizes? Uh, so. Um, did you you saw the books hopefully that are left? So, w- w- did you have a preference, a choice? Uh, I don't know what uh, what uh, left. What, John Barton, History of the Bible. These are the ones that are left because I don't have an infinite number here. I was going be here all night. Quranic <laughs> keywords, uh, a reference guide, historical figure of Jesus by E. P. Saunders, apostate. This the, the former. Apostate, yes, apostate. Yep, good. Okay. Cool. So if you uh, give your details to Khalid, like like before, um, and we'll get... Um, it's actually a very good book. I, I read it. Very, very good, actually. Cool. My email is in a private chat, uh, Salman. If you look at the private chat, do you see my email address? Uh, in your chat? Yes, the email. I'm going to screenshot it. Yeah, and show me an email with your name, address, and uh, the name of the book. That you requested yeah so we okay, can remember thank okay. you okay uh i, I okay i have uh, some words to end this uh, i want to thank you paul for your enthusiasm about knowledge uh, i actually learned from you that age is not a number thank, just a number i mean <laughs> <laughs> thank you paul oh, and thank sweet. you khalil thank you that's very sweet thank you very much all right take care, take care, man. Peace. Take care. peace Okay, so who do we have now? Uh, next victim, I mean, next guest, next. Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Ibrahim, how are, how are you? I'm okay, alhamdulillah. How are you guys? Alhamdulillah, very well. So, where are you uh, calling from? Uh, so, I basically live in Oxford, or very close to Oxford. Uh, yeah. Pop around and give you the book, it's just up the road. Uh, no, that's excellent. Uh, that's definitely on Amazon. Um, good. Um, so uh, we're going to think of a fiendishly uh, difficult question for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Oxford, that sounds very academic. You need a hard question. <laughs> okay. N- name me two professors from Oxford that I have interviewed on Blogging Theology. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> um, so there's Professor Keith Ward um, yeah. at the Faculty of Theology. <laughs> God, even even, 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 knows, even knows that he's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> and there's um another one that you've come on. I showed you the book earlier on. It's one of the books uh, that's on this. Giveaway. Oh yeah, and then uh, John Barton. Uh, ah, exactly. yeah, they're, they're both professors at Oxford. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a John yeah, Barton book. Congratulations! The, uh, congratulations. Good so um, that was good. That was good, Thank and you, you you've got the answer right, which is amazing. Good, good. So, uh, which of the uh, books that's left do you want then? Uh, it's got to be Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. Yeah. Yeah. Good choice, good choice. Good choice. What, a, what a G! <laughs> what a G! What a young G! <laughs> John, John, who is professor of Islamic studies at the University of Nottingham, and um, this is apparently the best uh, book on Ibn Taymiyyah in English from an yeah. academic point of view. So, no, that's a very good choice, actually. He even knows the title. He said, Give me Sheikh or Islam. Excuse me, Mr. Shawaf. That's the correct title. Mashallah, mashallah. Good. good man. You got your prize. Well earned. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, Khalil, oh, um, I can't see your email in the chat right now. Because I joined a bit late. You can't? Really? Yes. Don't start. Don't okay, start. Okay, Mike. Don't let me start it once again. Right now. I can't. I can't help it. It just happens. All right. Gmail. dot com. Jazakallah khair. Good stuff. Excellent. Good well done, Ibrahim. Take Thanks care. So I I enjoy your content so much, Paul, and you really like re-sparked my 
and you need to read books again, especially more academic books. So um, I'm impressed with your library. I actually recognize one or two volumes. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. You gotta give us some books, man. Books yeah, there. I'm studying A levels right now, so I'm trying to balance the time. So Mashallah. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, good luck with that. I hope you enjoy the book as well. Uh, it's, it's, it's very readable. Take care. Okay. Thank you. How many so far have we seen, uh, Paul? How many patients? I mean, how many uh, uh, <laughs> victims? <laughs> how many uh, callers? I, I don't know, but I've got a finite number of books, and we're, we're not sending out more than one copy of it. So we've got one, two, three, four. We've got Kirk, six. Kirk, Abdul Hakim. Six, six, six. Okay, beautiful. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, the only book I really wanted, the brother just got, uh, uh, and I had the Jonathan Brown book. So um, you can let somebody else come on. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we can we can hear you. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we let somebody else have a chance. Alhamdulillah. He said to let someone else go because he wanted that book and someone else took it. No, no, no. So you heard um, Paul? Yeah, okay. We can um we, we will make an exception. Okay, alhamdulillah. It's dangerous we make lots of exceptions and we're here all night, but okay. So this book is miraculously doubled in uh two quantities. Um, <laughs> um, but of course, you haven't. Uh, yeah, I haven't answered the question, man. Wait a yeah, second. Yeah, Wait a the question second. yet? So, <laughs> the question first. Uh, um, yeah. Hey, what happened? I'm, I'm probably Kirk, not going to get it right. Kirk, Kirk Abdul Hakim is so confident he's going to answer it. He's like, I don't even want to talk about that. I know I'm going to answer it. Just get straight to the point. Allah <laughs> <laughs> alam. Allah alam. Yes, indeed. So, uh, Khaled, do you have any finishly difficult questions? Um, uh, I, I'm probably going to ask the same question I asked earlier about the ending of the Gospels. What do you think? Uh, no? Yeah, no, no, do. Yeah, it's a good question. Good All question. right, Kirk. Uh, Kirk. It is a good question. Honestly, I would have to guess because I don't really know, but I think it's Luke. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not very good with the... Uh, well, which uh, question are we answering? Because I asked two questions about... Uh, the Bible. They're asking about the verse or asking about the ending. Yeah, but you gave the answer. The, the Trinity verse, one John five seven. You you answered it. You you told us what it was. Okay, so yeah, just want to make sure he's following with that. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not it. I don't know. I don't know, Paul. If you want to ask a question or you want to like. Uh, oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, how how name, about? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, uh, name one uh, American uh, academic that I've had on blogging theology. Jonathan Brown. Mm -hmm. You've had him on, haven't you? No. no. Um, no. Hassan Somali. No. No, he's I, not an academic. No, I, I think no, no. There's someone. There's someone I've had on the channel. Uh, been able to. Um. Doctor Lawrence. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll I'll let you I'll let you have that. I mean, he is American, so uh, he's. I mean, is he an academic? I don't know if he's an academic, but he he's. Yeah, we'll we'll let that pass. Um, Hope he's not listening to this. He's not academic. <laughs> no, that's that's absolutely not the right. I shouldn't have said that. I didn't mean it like that. But what I meant was he doesn't have a chair in America. He American University. <laughs> or uh, or well, the uh, the uh, the uh, brother that that works in the Quran Institute. He's not American, but he lives in America. Doctor Sitki. True. No, this this is this is absolutely right. He's from Chicago. No, no, that's good. That's a correct answer, sir. That is a correct answer. Good job, man. No, you have you have successfully answered that question. So um, the only remaining uh, copy of even same here will be on this one. Really miraculous uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You've never seen a miracle on blogging theology. It's duplicated itself. So um, uh, yeah. thank, no thank you, Mr. That. Williams. No worries. So you just give your details to uh, Khaled via email. Yeah, Kirk, um, you, uh, do you got my email address. It's in the private chat. No, I'm, uh, the uh, ANSL one. Yeah, Anselm. So nah, basically, nah. send me your email with uh, your address, your mailing address, uh, your name, and the um, the book. The book, exactly. Just so we don't forget. Yeah. Jazakallah khair. Why are you welcome, Yeah. No, I'm not Thank you. Take care. Take care, Kirk. Thank Bye. you very much, Paul. Pleasure. Okay. Uh, seven now, Paul. You give us seven, are you? 
uh, we've got, um, we'll say six books left. So six more books to give away. Six and more then, books. Wow. Half. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah. Then we'll call it a day. It's been, it's been an hour and a half. So, um, so, um, pathetic Amara, was he, was he, did he, uh, he wasn't able to get on for some reason, his camera or something. Right. right. So we need to get him back on because oh, there he is. We, we can see him now. We can't hear you though. Ah, we can, you finally made it. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. How are you, Paul? How are you doing, Akhi? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Where, whereabouts are you? I'm from Kashmir. Kashmir. Oh. Do, do um do uh do Amazon deliver to Kashmir? Yeah, it gets delivered, but basically, but certain times there are certain problems because of which um uh, I can give you a different mailing address and okay, it can be shipped there. Yeah, that's that's fine. As long as you can sort something out, that that's that's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, got to, th got to think of some more uh, questions, Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. You you mentioned we had two people who asked for Ibn Taymiyyah's book, right? Yeah. So I was going to say, name a scholar, a prominent known scholar in Islamic history who was a student of Ibn Taymiyyah. Oh, it was, good. I think, Ibn Qayyim. Like Very that. good job. Very good. Yeah. Ibn Qayyim as a student. As, by yeah, by yeah. the way, Ibn Kathir as well. The no yeah, yeah, was a student of Ibn Taymiyyah as well. That's who I was thinking obviously, of, yeah. Obviously. Good obviously. Yeah, very good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My email is in the private chat. Just send me uh, the address, the name, and the book. Yeah, yeah. What book, what book yeah, did you yeah. want, Paul? Did you... uh, I think Talmud, Talmud, the book on Talmud. Okay. Um, well, but miraculously, that has just duplicated itself as well. So... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to take. We'll be here all day. With you. Okay, that's great. Oh, no, I'm I'm very keen that people should read about the Talmud actually. Right? So that, yeah, that's yeah. Actually fine. So if you um yeah, just send your details to Khalid, um, and uh, that that we'll, we'll get get that sent to you. It's not a problem. Okay, thank you. May Allah bless you. And you too. Take care, mate. Bye bye. Take care, brother. So, um, moving on to uh back to oh Max has turned up. I think. Max, can you hear? Hello, me? can you hear Hello. me now? You're 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 with us finally. Hey, uh, hey yeah. Hey, Max, take it's a blurry camera, but um, it, I got it working. Yeah. You could just wipe it, like wipe just wipe no, the lens. No, I tried. I tried everything. You sure? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's it, okay. it doesn't no, work. We, we can. That's okay. Um. Well, whereabouts are you, Max? Uh, UK, South. Oh. Excellent. Well, I believe Amazon do deliver here, so that's... They definitely do, yeah. <laughs> do they deliver in the UK, Amazon? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. They do. yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't exist if they didn't deliver. Um, so we've got to think of some fiendishly difficult question. Uh, are, you, are you a Muslim, Max? Max? No. Are you a Christian or...? Uh, nothing, or... I guess. No, you're not... Okay. Interesting. Um, so... Um, Okay, so uh, name me. Uh, oh God, do you have any questions, Khaled? You can think of. Yeah, I can ask him about Islam. It's came about to give us the. Uh, do you know a little bit about Islam or no? Um, yeah, I know some things. Okay, so give us give us like a thirty second to one minute um, summary of if someone gets to ask you what Islam is, oh. uh, what do they believe? Well How many gods? Who is the prophet? What is the main creed? And uh, one major holiday. If someone, if you met someone in some island who don't know anything about Islam, and even though you're not Muslim, you you are an objective representative of the religion, give us about thirty second to one minute run, and then we'll let Paul decide whether that's a, that's a fair representation or not. What do you think, Paul? Uh, well, if you get the number of gods wrong, by the way, uh, <laughs> I, I I will be merciless. Okay. I will be merciless. You'll be that, banned. <laughs> you'll be banned. <laughs> so carry on. Okay, so um, so I've just met someone on Desert Island. I'd tell them, so Muslims believe in one God and Muhammad is his messenger. That's their fundamental core belief. Um, they So that one of the holidays is Ramadan, uh, where they fast for, for a month. And also there's pilgrimage like uh, Hajj. Uh, where they like uh, go to Saudi Arabia and 
uh, walk around the Kaaba, I think. You got How's the number that? of gods. Yeah, you got the number of gods right, which is my most <laughs> thing that worried me most. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, cool. Uh, so that's ex- well done. Success. Um, Paul approves it. Uh, <laughs> I do. Um, I'm not going to do, do miraculous duplications of books because we'll be here all night. So um, uh, that's what's left. Okay. Um, you can see that we've got John Barton, we've got Hadith, the Islamic Jesus, E.P. Sanders, Lawrence Browns, the first and final commandment. And what's and the, the Islamic Jesus one about? Yeah, um, the uh, I've done several. The author, um, Mustafa Akyol, uh, an American writer, um, is a very, very good book. If you want to perhaps a, um, a more uh, scholarly introduction to how Muslims understand the historical Jesus and what the evidence for the Muslim Jesus is, because it's surprisingly good. Um, you know, the Quranic Jesus and things like that. So, um, yeah, I recommend that. Okay. Um, I think I might go for the Hadith one. Oh, good MashaAllah. choice. Mashallah. Very, very good. Yeah, very so good very, choice. Very good choice. So very good. Okay. Excellent. So if you give your details to... Khalid. Oh cool, yeah. So do I just send an email to? Yeah, I've got you, it. You see my email address there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Email. Yeah, send me an email with your address, uh, full name, mailing address, and remind me of the book. Like, what book do you choose? The Hadith one. Okay. So I'll just say the Hadith one. Is that okay? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Excellent cool. choice. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Take care, Max. Right. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, um, so that was. A, no, there wasn't a duplication, so that's okay. That was a very good, uh, that was a beautiful, genuine uh, description and good choice too. Mashallah, may Allah guide him. I mean, yeah, good question, uh, uh, Khalil. Very, very good question. Uh, Evrim, hello, sir. Mr. Hello. Evrim. Hello. How are can you, you hear sir? Me? Yeah, we can hear you. I'm very fine, good sir. Thank you for asking. Alhamdulillah. What about are you? We, we're fine, but where where are you? I'm actually from Germany, Berlin. You're in Berlin? Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice, nice. Nice. What Thank kind you. of uh, name is uh, Evrim? Is that Turkish or Albanian? or? Uh, yeah, it's, it's Turkish. It uh, stands for uh, evolution. Evolution? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's nice pretty good, I know. <laughs> nice to meet you, Evrim. Nice to meet you, Khalil. Good. Well, and, and it's, good, of course. it's good to have a fresh victim. I mean, a new guest. Uh, very, very nice. And um, we're um, we're running out of books, so the choice is narrowing down. It has to, otherwise we'll be here forever. Uh, so, um, the uh, So we've got the chronic keywords. We've got the John Barton book about the Bible. We've got um, this book by Lawrence Brown, which is actually very good, about the Abrahamic mm-hmm. faiths, the Islamic Jesus, uh, hmm. No, you know, we, we haven't given that away yet. The Islamic Jesus and uh, the historical Jesus uh, by E.P. Hmm. Sanders, the American scholar. Um, so we've got to think of uh, a question. Okay, let me let me think of one this time, Khalid. Um, Khalil. Um, um, yeah, go ahead. We can take one. I can ask one. Do you, do, you, do you have one in mind? I do have one in mind. I don't no, know. No, if please, go, please go ahead then. Should I? Should I should we ask him an Islamic question or a biblical question or we... I, th- I think a biblical question make it difficult. Biblical? Oh no. <laughs> Are you into the Bible studies or you rather have Islamic question in the room? Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not really into Bible. All I know is basically uh, Isaiah 42 and uh, you know the, the part with Moses and Deuteronomium or how you pronounce it. Deuteronomy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, easy question. Um, what language was the New Testament written? Meaning the oldest manuscripts that we have are written in what language? Uh, I'd go with Hebrew. New Testament. Oh, uh, Aramaic? Greek? Pick, we gotta pick one. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, By the way, this is, whatever you pick is your last answer. Alright. Uh, New Testament. Someone said, I, I, someone said I, Someone said, I'd, I'd, go with, <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I'd go with, with Greek. Hey, good job. 
Right. Actually, if you if you had said Aramaic, uh, you wouldn't have been totally wrong because there are some Aramaic words in the New Testament. Um, Kalitha, oh, okay. gospel. So, um, just a few snippets um, of Jesus' actual words, allegedly. Um, fantastic. Well done. Um, so, do you have a choice of the remaining few books we've got left? Uh, what was the first one again? Um, you got these obviously all in English. Chronic keywords, a reference guide. Oh. I, I made several videos of that. Uh, John Barr, Professor Oxford, History of the Bible, Jesus, mm. Historical Jesus, the Islamic Jesus, which is very good, and mm. Lawrence Brown's book on the Abrahamic faiths. Um, I think I want to take the Islamic Jesus one. Good as choice. possible. Good choice. Very good choice. Very good choice. Yeah. It was a good choice. Right? Uh, well, so that's good. So if you uh, just share your details, uh, send your details to Khalil's email yeah. address. Do you see so my much. email address there in the private chat? What? Do you see my email address in the private chat? Oh, um, one moment. Can't quite uh, open it right now. Just click on private chat and then look, scroll back to see if there's, there's an email address there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And some to yeah, see, I got it. yeah, email me your full ad million address, name, and the book. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you. I'm actually going to be a, a bit discriminatory and jump to Izzy, who I think is uh, um, the sister. Um, because we've not had any sisters. We've not had any sisters at all, which I think is very First unfair. Good. Really? Yeah, you're the first sister. I think how many we had so far? Eight, Paul, or nine? Uh, I, uh, probably. <laughs> I've been counting. <laughs> yeah, but no, we uh, the, the first and probably last sister. So, hello, is he? Where, where are you from? Hi, I'm in the UK. Oh right. Okay. Yep. Um, definitely. Well, I have a special request. Could you do one more miraculous duplication? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> which, which one? Which one do you um, have? In mind? I really wanted the return of the God hypothesis. Oh, well, okay. Let's see if I can magic. Yeah, okay. Magically, it's just happened again. Okay. It happened again? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. I I'm going to remove one from the, uh, the old par because really, I mean, it's over one and a half hours and um, it's too much. So, yes, uh, if you were to answer the question correctly, you will get it's actually a very good book um, Return of the God hypothesis. That's okay. Yeah. Um, but you've got to answer the question, of course. Um, which Khalil? Did you have any Khalil? Uh, yeah, I have one. Um, I have one like has Islamic question, or we can do a biblical question. But should we try Islamic question now, Sister Izzy? Mm, maybe a biblical one. But... Wow! <laughs> this was this like... I don't know. I've just been watching a lot of like biblical related videos. So yeah. okay. By the way, the Islamic one was going to be easy. Okay, a oh. biblical one. Okay, no problem. Can I use um, that as a that's fine. We'll try the biblical one first. Hopefully that works. Um, okay. So state one verse from the Bible, which is used to substantiate that Jesus calls another entity to be God and not himself. And uh -huh. a verse from the Bible where Jesus is quoted to say that another entity is God and it's not him. Im like implicitly yeah he basically states that um i'll just tell you the verse and try to tell me uh i'll, I'll read the passage you try to give me the quotations what book or what chapter and what verse um and if you can't at least give us which gospel is it in okay, oh, okay. sounds difficult okay it's very easy i think you know it so uh, so jesus is quoted to say the following this is eternal life so they might know you, the only oh, true God, oh, okay. and that you have sent Jesus Christ. Which that's which uh, chapter and verse? I believe that's in the Gospel of John. Very good. I think you won already. Uh, because I know Christians always jump to John. Uh, a really a passage right after that where it's more implicit, but he clearly says that they may know you, the only true God. Do you know what chapter and verse? I think the gospel is enough, yeah. right? Cool. I don't know if she wants. Is it in chapter one? Oh, I don't know. There is one in there, and there's another number to the right of it. 
Is it one seventeen? Seventeen, chapter seventeen. Yes. Yeah. No, that, oh, that's true. No. Chapter seventeen, think, verse three. I think you've you talked through enough. I think, Hello, that, you, got the, you got the gospel right. Yeah. Which is good. Yep, the book is yours. The book is yours. Well done. It's a good book. Um, newly published. Enjoy reading it. If just uh, if you're okay sending your contact details to Khalil like before, and um, we'll get Amazon to send you a copy. Uh, thank yeah. you, Paul. Do you see my email address there, Sister Izzy? Uh, in, the, in the private chat? No, I can't. Oh, wait. Scroll like all uh, the way up, you'll see. Type it again. It's probably lost in. Uh, no, I don't think I can see it. That's okay. I'm sending it right now. There it is. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Just send me your uh, so send your full name, mailing address, and the name of the book. Which book did you pick? Sorry, the miraculous oh, birth. The return of, uh, of Okay. Yeah, the return of the God hypothesis is an excellent book. Um, yeah, and so many top scientists have endorsed it. Um, but basically, uh, you know, the explanation of the universe is product of intelligent design is making a big comeback in science because of recent discoveries. Yeah, my ten-year-old nephew watches you sometimes with me as well, and I want him to read it too so that he has like a rational. He's ten. Well, this is actually. I mean, well, he, he may well. He may well. This is a. This is quite a part maybe of when he's older. Yeah, yeah, maybe when he's older. <laughs> cool. Mashallah. Thank you, Izzy. Yeah. Take care. We'll set, we'll post that off to you. Okay, right. I'm gonna be ruthless now because uh it's one hour forty. There are two books left, and I have no more miraculous powers, unfortunately. Well, two more callers, right? Yeah. <laughs> so um please don't ask for duplications because we'll be here forever. Um, so we got a history of the Bible by John Barton, who's been on blogging theology, an excellent book. And this, uh, even though the cover is awful, is actually a very, very good book um, about all the Abrahamic faiths by Lawrence Brown, the American revert to Islam. Oh man, Lawrence Brown is a hero. Yeah, he's a great. Yeah, mm. one doctor to the other. So I'm sorry, folks, because otherwise we'll be here forever. I'm going to narrow it down just to these two, and I have no more magical powers left i'm afraid no more magical duplications all right um <laughs> sorry sorry no, it's just i read something I'm... funny so somebody said in the quran isa is god only god is sinless and forgives sins sorry yeah paul's running out of power exactly um cal uh, <laughs> is going out to have a good laugh he can't help himself that's very funny <laughs> uh, um <laughs> Poor guys in stitches. Right, next. Uh, Farhan. Farhan. Farhan, are you Farhan today? What do you mean today? Farhan is happy. Oh, okay. Uh, you're muted, my friend. Farhan. You, you look Farhan. Smiling, more time. Big smile. You're muted. You're muted. Welcome, salam. Welcome, salam. Are you Farhan today? Uh, Farhan. Yep, I'm happy. To every, see you every all day, and every day, every day. Yep. happy every day. I was not hoping that uh, I will get uh, on the board to talk to you all. <laughs> uh, very uh, fortunate. Well, where, where, Farham, where, where are you on the planet? Um, are you? Yeah, in, I'm from in, India. Ah, excellent. Um, well, welcome. And I, of course, for Amazon, we deliver to India, the, the largest democracy on earth. So yeah, I'm sure. Um, so we have um, two um, children connect with no magical powers. No magical powers. Are you okay yep. with that? Yep. Uh, I'd like to have one, the thick one, the Lawrence Brown book. You said thick one? Yeah. <laughs> Khalil, behave yourself. Right. This, yes, this is an excellent book, and um, I do uh, recommend I do. it 100%. I recommend it 100%. Okay, uh, okay. Kyle, any more foolishly yeah. good questions for our victim? I mean, I guess. There is a question, but other than that, Michael, well, Farhan, do you mind muting, muting yourself for a second? Uh, no, uh, okay, can, can, you, can, you, can you mute yourself for one second because there's an echo? I'll ask you and then you can unmute yourself after. 
perfect. I think it's gone now. Okay. So the question is this. Okay. In, in Islamic rulings, right? Or ahkam, hukum, to get a ruling for Islam, there are there are a few sources. There are four sources where we get our rulings from. Right? Could you kindly list those sources for us? Where do we derive rulings from in Islam? Uh, sure. Our first one is Quran. Good. And then the Sunnah. Very good. And then the uh, uh, the prophets' uh, uh, companions' uh, uh, companions' uh, uh, dealings. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one is the uh, uh, you can say istihad and uh, these things. No, you gotta give me the term. You gotta give me the third term and a fourth term. The proper terms used. Oh. Let me, let me give you a hint. <laughs> let me give you a hint. So you said you said Quran and Sunnah. That's good. Done. Now, when there is something that we don't know what it is, the so the scholar has to do something. Scholar, called, it sounds like you make like consultation shura or something like. Uh, so that's the fourth one. That's ijma. That's ijma. Ijma. Yeah. That's the fourth yeah. one. But, but the third one is what? You have to give me this one. Uh, third, for example, uh, right, third for, example one. for example, they didn't have cars back then, but now they have cars. So the process of making some analogical, analogical. it's called analogical reasoning. It's called analogical yeah. reasoning. Okay. Okay. Is it, it, hard it, or something? It's close to that. It's called qiyas, but that's good. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Repeat them. Repeat them all for them. Uh, Quran, Sunnah, Chaos, and then uh, uh, the fourth one is the uh, Ij Ijma. 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 Yep. Ijma. 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 collection of yep. the, the Ummah, what this is called. All right. Yeah. Good job. What do you think, uh, Paul? Did he get it? Oh, you know, you, no, you, you gave him a hard time. So it's def definitely going to get that book. Well done. So, uh, <laughs> uh you deserve a book. Thanks for being like that. You're yeah, doing a great job. Uh, even I don't know about all these scholars and all those details that the research is going to happen in all these fields. And through your uh, blogging site, uh, blogging channel, I got to know many scholars, many books, and it was fantastic. And uh, I could not uh, means, uh, appreciate your work. And I, I could not reach uh, to uh, means uh, too many scholars and uh, too many authors related to the our religion and uh, other uh, faiths through your channel. It was very nice. Thank you. Well, thank you for thank coming. Across your channel. And uh, you can send the details to Khalil, yeah. your details. Khalil, your details. So, do you see my so, email? Do you see my email? Uh, yeah, I can see. Uh, let me. Uh, can you close YouTube? Can you close for Han, can you close YouTube for a second? Not StreamYard, YouTube. Uh, I was. Uh, wait, uh, that's fine. Anyway, yeah, email, email, email me. It's okay. better. Email me, um, email me um, name, address, name, address, and the name of the book. Okay. The of the you see my email address, right? Okay. Yep. I saw, uh, I will screenshot it and I will just send them in. Okay, for Han, okay. stay for Han. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Thank Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. Salam, brother. And the final victim, I mean, guest uh, on Blogging Theology uh, is Rayhan. Hello, Rayhan. Rayhan, how old are you, man? I'm you fine. Know. How old are you, bro? Mashallah, young brother. I'm 14. I'm 14. 14? Yes. Yeah. Mashallah. Am I too young? I don't think we have an age limit, do we? I don't know. I haven't thought about that before. Um, but the only book left is uh, this book, uh, The History of the Bible. Are you okay with that? Because that's the only one. Yeah. I, I don't have any magical powers left, I'm afraid, to uh, generate any more. <laughs> um, where, are you, where are you, Rayhan? Uh, I'm in the Emirates right now. Like, I'm in the UAE. Where? Uh, the Emirates in the UAE. Oh, Emirates. Oh, UAE. Oh, oh okay. okay. Mashallah. Cool. Do um do Amazon deliver to the UAE? <laughs> yes, I think. Uh, sure, they, they do. do. <laughs> Good. Hopefully, they do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So this is the the last book, and uh, no more powers left to me to duplicate anything. Um, a History of the Bible by John Barton, who appeared on Blogging Theology um, a month or two ago. Um, I think it did, wasn't wasn't he the guy that said that Muhammad was a prophet? I think he did. I can't remember. Um, 
anyway. Um, I'll give this one to you, Paul. Last one. Me? Oh, that's very kind of you. Okay. Um, on, on your I'm show. Sure. Yes, but yeah, this is fair enough. Actually. Can you, can you, uh, Rayhan, um, make it nice and straightforward. Can you name the four gospels in the Bible? What? Uh, okay, okay. Come Thank on, you. Rayhan, Thank hold you. on, wait, wait, wait. Objection. I object. <laughs> no, Rayhan is 14. I can't ask him to define the hypostatic union, can I? Maybe he can. I ask him. Do you know what hypostatic union is? <laughs> Do you know what the hypostatic union is? Can you define it? Oh, okay. wait. Is the hypostatic union meant to be like, uh, uh, like how Christians conceive uh, how Jesus, uh, uh, how Mary conceived Jesus? Yep. That. Whoa. Okay. Yes? That, no, yeah. Let's go back to the first question. No, no. Let's go scrap the first. Question. You, 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 this guy knows his stuff. So, um, yeah. No, uh, it is. It's how. Uh, so, how do Christians do? They Christians usually do they see Jesus as just God or a man or Fully God, fully man, or half and half? How do Christians normally see Jesus, usually? Uh, they see Jesus as fully God and fully man. Yeah. Exactly the right answer. Well, if you'd said <laughs> half and half, that would have been the wrong answer. Good luck. Well, well done, sir. You have won the final prize. Well done. Yeah, right hand. Hand. Yay! And I'm glad to say that is it. After one hour, 50 minutes, we finally got rid of all these blooming books. <laughs> Thank you, Rayhan. And uh, have you got the address, uh, the email address for Khalil, by the way? Uh, yes, I've got it. I've got it. So me, me, uh, email me your name, your name, your, your address, <laughs> okay? And the name of the book, please. Uh, okay. John, John Barton, the A History of the Bible. And he'll tell uh, you about okay. the hypostatic union as well in that. Okay. okay, before you leave, you have to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. <laughs> okay. No, I, you're, you're considering me as too young. Huh? Of course I know Surah Al-Fatiha. What? Is this okay. 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 يهدينا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين ما شاء الله very good very good ما شاء الله beautiful very good. beautiful rayhan thank you i don't know why Khalid forced you to do that but that was very nice thank you sorry we got to keep our youth on their toes exactly okay. <laughs> thank you uh, rayhan we'll send that other book sent off to you Okay, um, sorry folks, um, if you were waiting patiently in the wings there, um, we've run out of books and I've run out of magic, so I can't duplicate them anymore. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we'll be here forever and ever. Um, and thank that you. Was very, very good episode, Paul. Very good huh? episode. That was very well, thank good episode, you, Khalil, but for, I, I know I put you on the spot there, and I, to be honest, I've not done this before, and I felt completely helpless half the time. So no, thank no. you so much for coming up with these questions, I must say. If I ever do this again, I'll have a better idea what I'm supposed to be doing now. Um, Wait, 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 Paul, I just saw a great comment. Yeah. Someone just said, please invite Dr. Zakir Naik on your podcast. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's genius. Why is that genius? Because it's Dr. Zakir Naik. I, was, okay. I don't think he'd cut, you know, this guy is the very top. He wouldn't come on my channel. He come hey, on my you channel. never know. Give it a try. Tell, tell him you know me. He'll, he'll, he'll come. He'll come. Oh, really? Well, so, yeah. well, have him on to talk about medicine, you mean? Talk, yeah. talk about doctors matters okay all right yeah paul thank you so much for having me on on the uh stream i think it was very productive it was beautiful we covered a lot of few things a lot, lot of things and then we had like a bunch of guests that all were happy um again i'm very honored and pleased and privileged to be part of your show congratulations on a hundred thousand pretty soon it'll be a million i'm sure i'll be there at least maybe visiting if i'm busy but yeah million is coming and uh you're doing a great job continue the work May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Thank you, very, thank you very much for your kind words. People do visit Khalil's website. Um, do, do you want to give them the um, the website address? Uh, my YouTube channel, you mean? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. It's basically, it's Kalamology. Uh, tomorrow, actually, th there is going to be a live stream. Um, it's going to be a live stream tomorrow around 3, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard, which is 7 p.m. UK, about Christianity. Uh oh. It's going to be me, uh, Brother Mustafa, and Brother Faz. Perhaps Brother Ijaz will join us. I'm not sure. I haven't asked him yet. But I would love you to join us too, Paul, if you're not uh, busy. 
we're gonna have a summary basically on a few points that you mentioned and then maybe have some callers so yeah do join us guys there in Kalamaji tomorrow at 7 p.m eastern standard back to you paul yeah uh basically guys you've got to subscribe to Khalil's uh wonderful uh youtube channel he's got some uh some great content actually and um it, it, it deserves to be a lot bigger than it is well it is growing so that that's cool so do do, do keep your eye on his channel and watch his content very good um Appreciate so that. yeah i guess that's it so i'm going to end the broadcast now um sorry to those who didn't get a chance to come on but the nature of things you know it was a finite number of books and uh there was too much magic going on as it is uh, thank oh, you for your, and um, I think I'll end the broadcast now. Yep. Until next time, as I say, take care.